Oh my god. What have we done here? <laughs> This week in our interior build and our boat restoration project, we're getting creative with every little space. And you never know, it might just save our lives. This is Luke, and I'm Lori, and we're making this once sinking sailboat our modern liveaboard home, thanks to our Patreons and viewers like you. And if you want to know what it'll be like to live on the Lahakai when we set sail around the world, subscribe to our channel, like this video, and ring that bell. It's a totally free way to keep the journey alive. Hey, so I'm here in the bee berth, and we really wanted to put lights running around the, the top sides of the ceiling, but we're having a little bit of a dilemma. As you can see, we have these little elbows that are in all of our frames that chop off this corner of the ceiling and so it doesn't make a really convenient area that we can put our light obviously we want it to be a continuous light we don't want to be interrupted by these triangles so it became a little bit of a weird dilemma and design problem so i came up with this idea that perhaps we could have a piece of wood that follows the same angle as these supports and has a little bit of a groove inside of it so that we can inset our LED lights so you can't see them because there's nothing worse than installing a light and you can see it. So it's inset and then it'll point the light up and it'll reflect off of the ceiling, lighting up the ceiling but also lighting up the surrounding area. But once you started measuring out this angled piece of wood, it became really obvious that this corner is not uniform. Nothing in our boat is uniform. So the the shape of it started to fluctuate and that was not really pleasing to the eye. So we came up with a solution and that's this. So as you can see, it has this little channel and in this channel, that is where the LED is going to sit and be aimed upward towards the ceiling. And this back part is gonna hide the triangles. So as you can see, this solution was really nice because you get this uniform size throughout the entire ceiling and it covers up all of these supports. It gives a place and a, a little home for our LED and it kind of is a nice finishing touch as well because the top of this corner is, is a quite a strange corner to be covering up anyway. And then we can also cover this with some sort of fabric, a fabric that's uniform with the walls and the ceiling, and it really will blend in nicely. So we're going to go with this solution and we're super excited to see it in place. Fernando then took the example he created and started planning how he was going to build and install the actual piece and make the most of this strange space.
he decided to create two separate pieces. One fixed piece that would remain connected to the ceiling and wall, and a cover that would house the LED strip and be easily removable for maintenance. Throughout this process, we've been trying to always think about ways that our ideas will be maintainable in the future. If something breaks or if we need to access behind the furniture, how can it be removed but not need a master carpenter put it back? So we wanted to do something a little bit different and that was hide our compression pole in our main cabin and to do that we had to align it with one of the frames in our hull and what that created was this large sandwiched area a big gap between two bulkheads and since we don't like any space going unused we're gonna do something with this too right now because we're going to do something really cool with it. <laughs> what are we doing? Okay. So, this beautiful work that they did, they just ripped it out. And it was really quick. Um, so that's cool because we're going to be able to do maintenance on here really easily. But now, now we're left with what? Let's see if they could create our project and put it back in here. The same way it was. The first modification we wanted to make with our bulkhead was to create a window inside. Yep, that's right. We transformed our superstructure and rebuilt it entirely with wraparound windows. But the bulkhead blocks this view, so we wanted to create a way that we could see from the main cabin forward. This would be important for spotting bad weather or keeping an eye on the horizon ahead without having to move forward in the cabin or go outside. It would also double for air circulation and a clever little place that we can put little plants.
Underneath our window, we wanted to utilize this dead space too, so the guys got to making a clever little wine rack for Luke's future collection. Finally, the remaining area in the bulkhead would be dedicated to holding our required safety vests. The Lahakai must have six vests on board, minus Luke and mine, so that means we need to fit an extra four on board. These vests are really bulky, and inside the bulkhead is the perfect place to have them easily accessible, but also hidden and out of the way. Now, this is still a work in progress, as you know. We need to create a secure way to hold the doors and the wine bottles in place. And of course, there's a lot of finishing touches, like the trim and other little details that still need to be made. But it's a really great step forward to finishing our boat. Let us know what you think of the results and our uses of all these little spaces. And if you want to hear more details about our project, join our crew on Patreon, where we give exclusive updates and inside scoops. <laughs>